Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the error code on the PlayStation 4 SU30625-6. And this is related to your PlayStation 4 having a problem processing the latest PS4 firmware update. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So a common scenario for this problem is you're downloading the latest PlayStation 4 firmware update and there's a problem and it doesn't fully complete. So how do we fix this issue? Now what we will want to do is hold down the PlayStation button on our controller and then go to power. And we will want to completely turn off our PlayStation 4 100%. We're going to launch our PlayStation 4 into safe mode and this is very easy to do just follow along with the simple steps so turn off your ps4 now with your playstation 4 completely turned off with no lights on the front of the console let's go ahead and press and hold down the power button for 10 seconds or more you will hear one beep initially and then about 10 seconds later you will hear another beep when you hear that next beep go ahead and let go and focus on your TV guide because your PlayStation 4 will now be launching into rest mode. To use the menus in the safe mode, you will have to connect your DualShock 4 using the USB cable and then press the PlayStation button. So go ahead and find a USB cable and connect it to your controller and plug the other end into your PS4. Then go ahead and press the PlayStation button on the front of the controller. Then go down to update system software, option number three. Then go down to update using internet and select this. And this is going to allow us to re-download the latest version of the PlayStation 4 software. So go ahead and press next and it's going to go ahead and download and update your PlayStation 4. So this should fix any kind of corrupted issues you've been having with the latest PlayStation 4 firmware and allow your PlayStation 4 to work properly. Depending on your internet speed, this shouldn't take more than 10 to 15 minutes. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 4 tech help videos coming up next on Your6 Studios.